What is a bomb? squad welcome to the burn down youtube channel before we get started today i want to fill you in on two things and then i won't beat you up anymore first thing is we have a sticker pack available so initially these are the new ones i have some album left over and i have some gus um get these while supplies last you get all four of them they're 10 bucks send it to paypal give me an address where i can ship them i do not have a website um i've already sent out some of these um through instagram and whatnot but if you'd like a sticker pack Please reach out to me. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And then the second thing is we have a pre-order live for the 19-inch Spall brushless fan holder. It's a bad man pajama. Won't beat you up too much on it, but we've got a pre-order running through November. If we get enough ordered before then, we're just going to place the order and get the thing rolling. And by place the order, I mean the parts from the laser house because I have to make them. Uh, send them to war, and then war ships and distributes those uh, for me. So... And they do all the wiring and stuff too. So it's pigtail, whole kit to install it. Again, uh, go to workperformance.com for that. Get a little discount. Get you some stickers. Life's going to be good. So on today's video, what we're doing, uh, we are going to try to do some heat control on this guy. Uh, I was out here yesterday and this floor looked like that floor. And I got some dry ice and I thought it'd be a fun video. Well, it turns out it's pretty boring to see if we'll get it cold. And we'll kind of smack on it. I don't know how we're going to get that stuff out of there. You just scrape stuff. But I did get to pack a bunch of dry ice on there. And I got this much done. And I realized, like, that's way too much work. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? So, then I started looking at the rest of this thing. Like, we need heat control here. We need it all back here. We need a lot, right? There's basically nothing. So, the dis discouragement set in. And I was like, I don't even really want to bother. Because it's like, how far am I going to get in a day on that? And then that's where I realized we don't have to do the whole thing. We had to do steps. And I went and got some supplies, got the car hot, drove it around. And the biggest offender in this whole section is this, at least for now, because the transmission's underneath it. Like the floor wouldn't get all that hot on either side, but this thing got pretty dang warm because your transmission, the heat is just boiling on the bottom of this thing. So my goal today is to, we're going to do it improperly, by the way. We're not doing it correct because if we did we, i really wouldn't get anywhere today we're gonna slap some automotive 2k primer on i think i got a little roller we're just gonna roll it all down give a little bit of time to dry up and then uh, we are going to try some lizard skin with another product that my buddies from more performance gave me so i'm gonna show you what we're trying to sling on here today we've got <laughs> just a little tiny bit of used lizard skin from one of my boys over or performance so thank you for that. This one's pretty full, but this is sound control, and I'm really after heat right now. This is supposed to be a two-part deal. You put this down first and then this over the top to kind of, you know, make a two-parter guy. But what I really want to test is this stuff to see if it's even worth it. So there's a little bit in here. Uh, I believe it's water-soluble, so we're going to try to kind of mix it up and get it to, get it to do the dance. But uh, Jason also had this one, and it's sealed up, and it's still liquid. So this is a heat and noise reducer. So I, I want to say these are probably fairly similar products. And I'd like to get this rolled hopefully on the transmission tunnel today. And then what we'll do for fun is I'll put a piece of tape. We'll roll all this stuff on. While it's still wet, I'll pull the tape off so we have a, a, an open area. So then I'm hoping either today or tomorrow we can drive around, get the transmission hot, get the car hot, and gun that stupid tunnel and see if this stuff actually makes a difference on there or not. And then if we just get the tunnel portion done and it sucks, then I know I won't bother because it's a lot of work to put this on everything else. And we'll just do lick them, stick them on everything. But if it does well, we can do each section. Um, and that's the goal is just, I need to take the heat or insulate it better. So the air, air conditioning works in the summer. And this isn't gonna be the only uh, line of defense, but it's gonna be the first. So, all right, a little quick red scotch bright. Knock off a little bit of the rust, give it a little bit of tooth. And for any of you guys on here that's like, why isn't he doing it right? You know, if you're going to do it, do it right. Well, I do it right all the time, and I know how much time it takes to do it right. That's why I was discouraged, because this doesn't need to be right. This is just 
to knock out a little heat, make it a little more comfortable. But at the end of the day, this is a go car, not a show car, right? So we're trying to make it a little more comfortable, not trying to make this thing last for generations and forever and ever. This isn't Chevrolet or Ford Motor Company. This is just a dude in the garage, in the driveway, trying to make it happen, live the dream of doing a little dragging and doing some driving. And it looks fantastic. Um, I didn't go all the way back, so I don't want to get too froggy with this, this stuff. And I figure, like I said, the worst offender is this. And then we'll kind of leave that stuff bare, like around here or whatever, because it's kind of hard to get to, but that'll be a good control when we gun it with our laser dude. And then I just went ahead and slopped it on there, because why not? I'm already here. I mixed it up. We'll let that dry up for a while, about an hour-ish or so. It's in the sun, so hell, I probably didn't even need that. I'll read the instructions, and we will lather this down with some lizard skin and lizard skin mix okay while the floor is drying i open this up speaking of drying this is it's pretty dry and i'm assuming and this is some bs stuff with latex stuff and i think it's water based so we're gonna try to add see there's some liquid down there so i'll try to mix this up a bit and i think we can just add some water to it. That's what I might try. Because right now it's like dried concrete. And again, I think it's like a latex base, whatever it is. But the, the hard stuff in here, like this is the magic stuff. This is the ceramic stuff you need. So all the liquids have kind of evaporated over the years. This sitting on the shelf. But I think it's water base. Yeah. It's, it's like something. Let's let's see what happens, right? Give a little bit of juice. There you go. Drink up, little fella. Worst case, we ruin it. I have that. But I feel like. Oh, look at that. She's beating it up. I think. So if this was not water base, this that would not be happy if I did that. So yeah, I think this will come back to life. As long as it gets thin enough that we could smear it on and then it air dries in place, I think it'll be fine. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. We've got almost like a cake batter consistency. Ah, I think that cake frosting. So yeah, she came back. She came back to life. I just weenie rollered this thing on here and then we have that little spot like I said up there we haven't really done. I mean I guess I can kind of gun that. But I put a couple coats and I know it was thick because we were rolling it right. A little foreshadowing for an upcoming episode. Somebody's getting his engine bay all cleaned up so we can see the black. Because we're going to put an engine in there hopefully sooner than later. Here we are. It's later in the afternoon. I even did the sound deadener over it on both sides. And me and the co-pilot, oh Why look not? at, look he's getting dirt on the new floor. Why not? Uh, me and the co-pilot are gonna go to the park. So we are gonna get the car warmed up and test it. We'll bring the heat gun. And as the car, we'll drive it all the way there and we'll see how hot everything gets and see if there's a difference between this or that little open spot yeah. there, maybe like over here. So Ready. that's it, let's roll. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. We got everything you want, honey. We know the name. We are the people that can find whatever you may need. If you got the money, honey, we got your disease. It's a jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Watch it bring it to you. Na -na 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 knees, knees. Oh, I, I wanna see you bleed. Jungle, welcome to the jungle. Feel my, my, my serpent 
Alright, mission to the park is complete, but let's check. Oh, be careful, please. Door when... opens so fast. Smacking the door and the stuff. Okay. So that says 107. When I put the little thing over here. 109. Nope. Oh. 107. Sure. 107. So it's like two degrees. 110. 112. So I would say there's a little 108. So yeah, it looks like it's making a whole one degree of difference. I keep doing stuff wrong. It's not even dry. We're tearing it up with our feet down here because the boy wanted to come to the park and I thought it'd be fun to explore this, but I don't know for the effort. We'll have to see what the lick em, stick em stuff does and then jute and carpet and all that. But I don't know if this is really worth it, to be honest with you. Maybe if you put it on the bottom side and it reflected the heat from the transmission, like on the bottom of the tunnel versus in here. But for one degree, it's a lot of effort. Before we definitively wrap this, I was driving and thinking, you know, that little spot, trying to gun that little tiny spot over there, you know, so that's like 101 and this is similar i was like maybe that's not a fair shake so what i did do is if i lay underneath and gun it as best i can and then gun it in here um let's try it real quick and i'll show you so if i just hit over here right so the car's been off for a little bit about 98 degrees ish so i lay down underneath here we will try to gun gun it let me set you guys up here so if i reach underneath here Okay, so we got a little bit higher reading. So I think the stuff does work, but you'd really have to be scientific and do a bunch of stuff and see. So, you know, like a 106 reading to, you know, 98, give or take, right? So I think it does help. At first I was like, man, this thing's not doing nothing because I have that little spot and I'm gunning everything from the top. So. I think it helps. It's a lot of effort. Definitively, I couldn't really tell you. We'd have to get something a little bit better for science, but we cleaned it up. We got that on there. That's my first line of defense. And then we will coat it with the other stuff. I think back here and the rest of this, um, I think I'm just gonna do lick them, stick them all over here. I don't think we'll we'll bother doing that. So maybe ah, we'll just stick stuff up there. It's too, it's too much of a pain in the ass. It's too messy. Till next time, you guys know what to do. I'm out. Rolling through the streets, yeah, I'm the king of the block. Got that dragon dry style, make your whole city rock. Malaboon gangster, when it touch of finesse. I'm turning rubber, raising hell, feel the heat, no stress. Turbo LS, under the hood, I'm moving quick. Nicky tires, grip the road, make them stick like a trick. She sloppy too, we got a hit in 08. In the war performance parts all over the place. The bomb squad's